Did any of you exercise before? Or do you want to lose weight this year? The fact that exercise is good is not an issue, but there are still a variety of opinions and tips about how to exercise. This is because outdated information has become a habit even though it doesn't work. And today we'll share the latest information from the American Association of Exercise and Professional Trainers. Well, isn't this the sweetest tip? It's called 12 Wrong Exercise Habits. Number one, exercising right away. You, the one who picks up the weights as soon as you change, hold on. If you go straight into exercising without warming up, you're more likely to get injured. Let's warm ourselves up for five to 10 minutes. Number two, warm up with static stretching. Now let's get it started. Then you split your legs to warm up. Static stretching to stretch your muscles is not suitable for warming up. If your muscles become too tense, you could hurt yourself while exercising. It is important to ensure the range of operation of joints by dynamic stretching rather than static stretching to heat the body up. Now you know how to warm up. Number three, only doing aerobic exercises. Aerobic exercises are good for your heart, but if you want to be in good shape, you have to strengthen your muscles. That way, you can burn calories and increase your muscles. Number four, eating too much before exercising. When would be a good time to eat? Before or after exercising? According to professional trainers, it is best to try and find a way to fit each individual. But avoid eating right before exercise because it is a burden on your stomach. Number five, keeping the same exercise routine. It is good to modify the number, weight, and set to avoid stagnant phase. Reshaping your exercise routines every six to eight weeks is also a good way to prevent stagnation. Number six, after aerobic exercise, the sequence of muscle training depends on individual goals. If your aim is to lose weight and increase muscles, do muscle training first. If your aim is to increase stamina, do aerobic exercise first. Number seven, prioritization of weight increase and speed enhancement. You only take heavy dumbbells in weights to increase your strength. More important than weight and speed is proper posture. Otherwise, you'll be at great risk of getting hurt and you'll be able to grow uneven muscles. Number eight, choosing a part of your body to lose weight. It is not helpful to only exercise to stimulate a particular area by trying to lose weight. For instance, if you want to make abs, you should not just do sit-ups, but mix diet and core exercises. Number nine, taking a long break between exercise sets. Do you take a break between sets or after a sprint? but it's not a good idea to rest too long. This is because long breaks decrease the heart rate and it is recommended to take a break of 30 to 75 seconds during the lift exercise and a break of 30 seconds to one minute during the interval training. Number 10, exercising every time until you're burned out. It is good to try and push yourself to the limit, but if you exercise this way every time, it can strain your central nervous system cause muscle aches, and even change your heart rate when you're stable. Number 11, drinking too much water at once. Keeping your body wet is good, but it's never a good idea to drink a lot of water before you exercise. Dividing the amount of water to drink each day is also recommended for muscle and proper balance. Number 12, checking weight changes only. How do you check your changed weight? Many people weigh themselves in a convenient way, and weight is just one of the many ways that measure change. Let's measure your progress using a variety of methods, including frequency and number of sets. Let's exercise properly, my friend.